Hey guys, it's Anaya back with another word, back with another message. If you're new to the channel, this is the soul Anaya, where I'm here to represent the word of God so the enemy does not come to rob. Okay, guys. So I'm going to hop straight into this message because the confirmation that I just got about this message is just, it's just kind of just all over the place. But as you guys can see that this is titled Mixed Signals, Mixed Signals signals what mixed signals are you giving right now at this point in time so i'm gonna just start off right away with reading matthew 6 verse 24 no one can serve two masters either you will hate the one and love the other or you will devote be devoted to one and despise the other you cannot serve both god and money so obviously in this scripture specifically at this point in time they were speaking about money but you cannot serve god and blank you cannot serve god and blank you cannot serve god and blank however this applies to you applies to you again take every word and take every message to god so that he can clarify it directly and specifically for you so what sparked this message is just because of the things that i have just been witnessing and the things that I have just been seeing with my eyes and just hearing with my ears just from the majority and the massive groups of people right now. So about over a year and a half ago, for the longest period of time, me and Pretty Boss, as you guys know, that's my big sis. I love her so dearly. I've kept, I came across her channel back in 2019, but we have been giving messages and like, you know, just videos and stuff about storms and that a storm was coming, et cetera, et cetera. And now a lot of people who heard those messages, the, the, they took it as, you know, oh, there's physical storms coming, which we know some of those things did happen. But majority of what we were talking about when storms were happening, we were talking about spiritual and mental storms within people's lives. And right now there's so many people that are just going through the motions and life is getting very, very hard and hectic for a lot of people. And a lot of people don't know how, how to handle it or how to filter things out. And so I'm not here and I'm never going to be the one to sit here and inval invalidate someone else's feelings. But I'm also not going to sit here and be an enabler and sit here and just allow people to make complaints and excuses. And, you know, I was watching a sermon too that also confirmed this message for me. And if you guys ever heard of Pastor Jerry Flowers, um, he did a, a word not too long ago or a sermon not too long ago. And I think it was actually titled like mixed signals or are you giving mixed signals? And he was just explaining how some people experience, you know, heaven in certain areas of their life and then experience hell in other areas in their life and things like that. And it's majority the reason why is because of the person's actions and the person's choices because on one side is on the spectrum in a certain area in their life they want to listen to god and follow his, his instructions and stuff like that and then on the other hand they want to sit here and ignore god's word and ignore god's instructions and then they sit around you know wondering like oh god why is this happening what is going on this and this and that how could you allow this to happen to me how could you allow that to happen to me and god is sitting here looking at you like you crazy because you out here giving out mixed signals it's either you're going to listen to God, you're going to follow what God says and his instructions, or you're just going to go off and do whatever you want to do. And, you know, many of us, we know that that way of living is called being lukewarm. We understand that. We understand people, they be saying one thing and then they actions be show, showing another, et cetera, et cetera. And so it's like, when are people going to stop playing the blame game? Oh, God, how could you allow this to happen to me? I'm not talking about situations that people didn't have control over. I'm talking about situations that people do have control over. Because, again, God is not going to sit here and be like, oh, I'm going to just continue to allow, allow you to do whatever sin you want to do. God is not doing that. He's not going to do that. Like, again, rather, like I just said in a previous video, free will is a gift. And what you do with your free will is going to have some type of effect. Rather, that is a negative effect or that's a positive effect. The choice is yours. So again, I'm not speaking about things that you didn't have control over. I'm speaking about things that you do have control over. So 1 Corinthians 6 verse 17 reads, But whoever is united with the Lord is one with him in spirit. 1 Corinthians 6 verse 19 through 20 reads, Do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. You were brought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your bodies. The reason that I stated in the previous video to stay in your own lane is because God gives different instructions to different people. You don't know the inner workings 
on what God is speaking to a specific individual. So God wants us to partner with him. So therefore we know what he wants us to do in our life and how our life should be playing out because he is the author of our story. And especially if you choose to follow him, he's the author and the finisher. So you have a choice and you had a choice on whether you want to follow God or just continue to stick to worldly ways. The choice is yours. God is never forcing you to follow him. Let's just be clear because I think a lot of people, you know, they, they get in a little religious mindset and stuff like that. And they just sit over here and think that God is not giving you a choice to follow him. Just know, again, that your free will is going to come with a, an effect. If you choose to follow him and listen and do his will and stuff like that, you're going to reap the benefits. And if you don't choose to follow him, you're going to reap the consequences. It's just as simple as that. I don't know why people are making it extremely hard for no apparent reason. So you, you, know, you can't sit here and follow God and try to listen to his instructions or say or say with your lips that you believe in God and that you follow God but your actions say something completely different that's just not how it works it's either you're in or you're out there is no both like we're human at the end of the day and we fall short but how long are you going to use the excuse of falling short you know to just continue to do what you do that you know is not fruitful that you know is not right how long are you going to continue to use that as an excuse? Oh, I'm not perfect. We understand that. But if you're consistently doing the same thing over and over and over and over again and trying to repent for it and then go right back and do it, you're not getting anywhere. You're not progressing. And God is going to notice that. He's not going to sit here and try to bless the work of your hands when you're still out here doing whatever you want to do and over here just diving deep into the devil's and the enemy's plan. We we don't do that. You got to pick a side. So... People's minds right now are very scattered because they are sending out these mixed signals. You know, at the end of the day, you reap what you sow or karma, whatever you guys want to call it. But let's be clear. The universe is a place. And the universe has a lot of different spirits within the universe. Depending on your actions, depends on what spirits are allowed to be involved in your life. So your actions act as a portal for these different spirits. Rather these spirits are from God or rather these spirits are not from God. Your actions hold as a portal. So, which many people they don't know and they don't care and they don't pay attention to, but that's on them because again, your free will has effects. So your actions affect innocent bystanders as well. And that's why bad things happen to good people because there's innocent bystanders along and people don't realize how much power that their actions actually hold because people be so quick to sit here and blame God for why this happened, why that happened, da, 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 da. but no one sits back and realize and see what people are doing with their own gift of free will. Free will, again, has effects. Until people realize that free will has effects, we not getting nowhere. So the devil is constantly looking for those who he may devour. And that includes the person that he's using to attack innocent people. So let's go down to Revelation 3 verses 15 through 16. And it reads, I know your deeds, that you are neither cold nor hot. I wish you were either one or the other. So because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I am about to spit you out of my mouth. Then let's skip down to 19 through 20. Those, those whom I love, I rebuke and discipline. So be earnest and repent. Here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come and eat with that person and they with me. Jesus not don't get down. Yeshua don't get down with the lukewarmness either. God don't, heaven don't. You need to pick a side and stick to the side. You can't keep crossing over. You can't, it's, it's going to be a consequence for that as well. So as before as I, you know, I've been here before, so I'm not sitting here judging anybody. You know, there was a point in my life where I was sitting over here confessing with my lips, but my actions was not matching up to my words. So this is not to be, you know, judgmental in any way, shape or form, but this is again to bring correction. You know, there's a lot that's going on in the world alone. It is our job to send out correction. But again, you need to partner with God and order to do it in, a, in an efficient way because you can't just be out here you know just spilling stuff out and you have no direction from God because God has strategy and he uses strategy again people are not going to sit here and listen to you if you're just screaming at them and just doing whatever so 
um, because at the end of the day, you know, when you are trying to send correction to people, you are essentially attacking the spirit that's operating within that individual. But you still have to remember that there's a person with inside of that vessel. So I always use this analogy in many different videos, if you've seen previous videos, where pretty much I speak about how, you know, how spiritual warfare works and how spirits attach themselves onto individuals. And it's almost very similar to a dog who has fleas. A dog doesn't really pay attention that it has fleas. Like, yeah, they might scratch, they might itch and stuff like that, but they don't essentially be like, Oh, I have fleas, you know, I'm I'm just so dirty. And, you know, they're going to still try to jump on the owner. They're going to still try to be around other dogs. Like, they don't really have the sense to know that I have fleas. I need to go hide somewhere until I don't have fleas anymore. They don't have that sense. And that's the same thing with us as human beings. There's human beings that participate in certain things and spirits have latched themselves onto them, onto, onto themselves or whatever the case is. And it's like, you know, people notice that this person is acting strange or this person isn't you know, you know, they're not up to par human being to just sum it up. And so pretty much you have to, when you're talking to that person, you have to send correction in a loving and caring way. You can't just be sent over here in the name of, and just like trying to come at this person crazy. You have to learn, you have to ask God for strategy on how to handle these people. Like if you have a dog with fleas, you're not going to just throw bleach on the dog to kill the fleas. You're going to hurt the dog too. So that's the same thing. If you're sitting over here trying to rebuke a spirit or something within a person you can't sit over here and say all these harmful things to this individual because the individual is still there along with the spirit that's attached to them and i hope that's catching on i hope that's making sense so right now you know your words and your tone matter and with everything just going on and stuff like that god brought me to two scriptures that talk about the same thing and the first one is titus 3 verses 10 through 11. warn a diversive person once and then warn them a second time after that have nothing to do with them you may be sure that such people are warped and sinful they are self-condemned second timothy verses uh second timothy 2 verses 23 through 24. don't have anything to do with foolish and stupid arguments because you know they produce quarrels and the Lord's servant must not be quarrelsome, but must be kind to everyone, able to teach and not resentful. The last part, able to teach and not resentful. There are too many teachers, teachers in quotation marks, that are arguing instead of teaching people the right way in the way of truth and the light. And I've been witnessing this on social media and on YouTube platforms. People are arguing with people in the comments. I'm going to tell y'all right now. I'm going to just be honest. I'm not arguing with nobody in the comments. Okay? Like, if something, that, if something that I say doesn't sound right to you, take it to the Father and ask Him for yourself. I'm just the vessel. And then pray for me. If you think that whatever I'm saying ain't holding true for something not matching up, take it to the Father and then go pray for me. Don't try to attack me, the vessel. Because God, he is my master, my manager, and I am just the employee and the servant. So I will never argue with anybody in the comments. I'm going to let you sit there and argue with yourself. Like, because I, I will never make myself seem higher than what, than what I am. I'm just not about to do it. And there's just too many people also that follow the person and not the spirit of God. Because the person can change. Let's just, let's just be honest. Because the person can change. Just straight like that. You know... People can one minute be following God and then the next thing you know, they off, they off to a different thing. So you guys need to be following the spirit of God and not the person. We are just vessels at the end of the day. I'm going to always redirect people to God. So again, like if anything that I ever say or anything like that doesn't sound right or whatever the case is, go ahead and take it to God. I'm, I'm just not doing it. I don't got the energy for that. I'm here for one reason and one reason only because I have... I've been seeing like too many hardcore Christians in the Christian community, you know, that feel like us as Christians need to be speaking up and speaking out about what's happening right now. And I don't agree with that. The reason why I don't agree with that, because the war is already won. Whatever has been said has already been said. Whatever has been done has already been done. So I don't really see the whole point of going back and forth and going to riots and protesting and all that stuff all that stuff seems very unnecessary to me because if you really truly trust god and truly believe you know that he has this that he's in control 
why would you sit here and try to take it into your own hands? It, it, it don't make sense and it's not adding up. Like, it's those type of Christians that, you know, block people from having an authentic and true relationship with God. And this is proven in Matthew 23, verses 13. Woo to you, teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites. You shut the door of the kingdom of heaven in people's faces. You yourselves do not enter, nor will you let those enter who are trying to. And if whatever is happening right now is affecting you so deeply and so hard right now as a Christian, you need to be praying instead. Praying is the most strongest, if you truly believe is the most strongest way to help an individual. If, it, if it's not getting through an individual's head, don't continue to use your lips. You need to be going in prayer, in private, and praying to your father. Matthew 6 verse 5 reads, And when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners, to be seen by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full. And if we go back to verse 4, it says, Then your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. If whatever is happening right now is just causing so much discord, especially the other previous verses that I just read, which was 3 Titus and as well as 2 Timothy um, chapter 2, you don't need to be going back and forth and arguing with people. For people who are trying to get close to God, the diehard Christians are not making it easy right now, especially what just happened. They're not making it easy. Like they're instead of teaching people, they're demanding people to do things. And God don't roll that way. God don't force nothing. So why are you as a human being trying to force something? It don't make no sense. And also in Matthew 12 verses 34, it says, you broader vipers, how can you who are evil say anything good for the mouth speaks what the heart is full of? Again, in 2 Timothy verse or 2 Timothy 2 verse 24, it says, and the Lord's servant must not be quarrelsome but must be kind to everyone and able to teach and not resentful. How are you trying to teach somebody stuff if you're resentful for people being gay? How are you trying to teach people if you are being resentful to people who are getting abortions? How are you trying to be able to teach people if you hate people before the color of their skin? You can't be a teacher. If you can't be a servant of God. God is not going to use a person like you. I'm sorry if that offended someone. But it's just the facts. It's just the truth. So mature children of God aren't going to argue with you it's just it's just that simple so i love you guys and i hope you guys enjoyed this video but also before i get off as you guys can see i'm wearing another one of my shirts that says victory and it's psalm 12 or psalm 92 verse 12 and again if you guys want to purchase anything off of my website i will leave the links in the description below but i love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next video peace